in uh, September of this year, uh, once again, uh, a group here at uh, Georgetown, the HOA, uh, had a reason to file a notice of they were going to sell our home over here for non-payment of ass assessments or maintenance uh, bills per month. Uh, it came in a uh, conclusion that uh, we weren't behind on the assessments. There was an issue with the uh, uh, accounting over at Creative that did the uh, uh, background for the HOA over here in the, way, in the way of payments with their spreadsheet and apparently one of their individuals that uh, was doing it, uh, their CPA that was on staff didn't take a look at it and I wasn't credited a number of the assessments. So they uh, went ahead and uh, listed my home for sale uh, on October the 1st uh, of this year. Uh, I contacted uh, Wall Street Lending the day before that and uh, they were nice enough, Daniel was nice enough, uh, didn't want to wait, he got the paperwork done and that afternoon, uh, what well, was the next day, I'm sorry, the next day, which was a Friday, I was able to go down and pick up a check and Wall Street uh, Lenders saved my house from being sold again. because of my conditions. I have uh, cancer uh, when I was working with the government and uh, I uh, have some medical uh, problems that have to be taken care of and uh, because I have no insurance it makes it very difficult and I'm on a limited income over right now. And uh, we were able, as I said, uh, to get this done in two days to where I did not have to go back to court again and get another delay in trying to get our reverse loan uh, on, the, uh, uh, on this property over here like I was trying to do to pay what they say I owe them. Uh, help me with the uh, determination on uh, how these HOAs work here in the state of Texas, what they can do, how far they can go back on payments they said that I missed, uh, uh, gave some other information toward me to what we could do in a way of uh, filing a lawsuit in uh, preparation of them uh, overcharging me uh, for the uh, attorney fees and or the assessments that were already paid by their attorneys. People, older people, uh, there are a lot of people nowadays that are, are uh, uh, for instance, myself, uh, I have an education, I have a degree uh, from college, but when a illness comes, and I know a lot of people talk about this, but it's really true. You know, and you go through four or five hundred thousand uh, dollars, your life savings. You have to sell your other home. Uh, your your parents end up giving you every dime that they have just to try to keep you alive, because of the treatment that I had to take wasn't all here in the United States. And secondly, they weren't going to do it without being paid up front. Uh, in B. Anderson, for instance, my father uh, gave them $200,000 and they did absolutely, they said they couldn't do anything. It has been very gracious about, and this is really true, it has been very gracious to me about really helping me with this, uh, uh, these issues that I've uh, uh, come forth in this deposition that I've given. Uh, if it hasn't been for Wall Street, I want to say again, if it hasn't been for them and loaning me the $7,000, uh, they would, uh, for $7,000, they would have bought or stole our place that's worth $268,000. And uh, uh, for having somebody that's lived over here at Georgetown townhomes for 40 years, one of the original owners, to have these people do that, that's a real issue. So I just want to make sure that people understand that uh, this company uh, cares about people and not only money.